But I think what's what, the most important thing in that process is to connect it humanly. So in our work, when we bring two parties together who are not reconciled, we don't really do dialogue or mediation. What we do is to create the space for them to connect and to learn about each other's lives and, and, and the story. So we create a safe space where you get to know the other and to connect humanly. And then when that connection happens, you will be able to empathize and to listen. And that creates the space for a conversation, for a dialogue, which ends up with hopefully uh, a resolved conflict. Now, so what really the approach is not to try to change or to bring peace, but trying to help people change. And when people change, circumstances change, then the situation changes. You talk about empathy in this process. It, it's, it's one of the most important things in this process? It is definitely a fundamental uh, element of the process of uh, reconciliation. Because without empathy, we're only seeing, uh, seeing things in black and white. You're either the victim or you have done nothing wrong. But when you empathize with some active listening, then you're able to connect with the other person. And to even to put yourself in the shoes or in the place of the other person, then that would change the, the views and that would open we we'll create the opening for conversation, for reflection and for a change. Thank you, Imats, and have a nice day in Iceland. Thank you, and thank you for inviting me. It's been wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Anna. Very much.